Now we have to discuss few problems on Laplace transform topic, right? So already we have discussed these are the standard equations. So Laplace transform of one is one one by s, and Laplace transform of k is k by s. Laplace transform of e to the power of plus a t, e to the power of plus a t is one by s minus a, and Laplace transform of e to the power of minus a t is one by s plus a, and Laplace transform of sine b t is b by a square plus b square. Laplace sum of cos b t is s by s square plus b square, right? So all these are comes under unilateral Laplace transform basic formula, right? Unilateral Laplace transform basic formula. Unilateral because here we have to apply the integration from zero to infinity. And if you want to write the same uh, equations in using bilateral. In time domain, we have to write the complete functions. All the functions are multiplies with u of t. That is one of the very very important point, right? So here u of t is not there. That's why directly uh, I wrote unilateral Laplace transform, simple equations. And another two properties also uh, I wrote here. One is differentiation in time domain, and another is differentiation in frequency domain, right? So differentiation in time domain in frequency domain it multiplies with yes. And uh, t multiplies in time domain. Differentiation operation applies in frequency domain. And using these equations here, we have to solve few problems here. Those problems I am taking like this now. Laplace transform of Laplace transform of one. I am writing now. Laplace transform one is from that it becomes one by s. Now from this, I want here Laplace transform of t into one. Laplace transform of t into one. See. Laplace sum of one is one by s. If one multiplies with t now, so in time domain t multiplies in frequency domain. What happens? Uh, differentiation in frequency domain with minus symbol right there minus d by ds into one by s, right? So differentiate this complete equation with respect to s. Then it becomes minus one by s square minus minus get cancels. Now it becomes here one by s square. This is another standard equation. Laplace transform of t is one by s square, or we can write like this: Laplace transform of t into u of t in terms of bilateral representation. T into u of t is one by s square. This t into u of t is also called as unit ramp signal. So, in signal sense system, these type of signals are also called as unit ramp signals. So, Laplace transform of unit ramp signal is one by s square. And from the mathematics, we can write the equation is like this: Laplace transform of t is one by s square directly. And from this, here I am writing one standard equation for Laplace transform of t to the power of n. t to the power of n. So the t multiplies how many times here? n times. So if t multiplies n times, then the standard equation explains here n factorial. The symbol explains the factorial. n factorial by s to the power of n plus one. Right, n factorial by s to the power of n plus one, or in terms of signal sense system analysis, signal sense system means always we have to write a, a time domain function multiplies with u of t. That's it, right? So Laplace transform of t to the power of n into u of t is here, right? N factorial by s to the power of n plus one. See, t multiplies in time domain in frequency domain, the power of the denominator is increases. See, Laplace transform of one is one by s. If one multiplies with t, the denominator power is increases. Sometimes some constant multiplies in numerator. That is depends on the factorial, right? And from this, I want to write one more standard equation. That equation is like this: see, Laplace transform of Laplace transform of t to the power of n by n factorial. This n factorial I'm writing here now. So t to the power of n by n factorial, n factorial is a constant value, right? So if you write the constant value here directly, this side it explains the one by s to the power of n plus one. This is also another standard formula here, right? Because sometimes our expected equations are n factorial, it gives you like here. So then immediately you have to write one by s to the power of n plus one, right? And from this, I want to write some other standard equations. Laplace transform of e to the power of minus a t is One by s plus a. Now t multiplies in time domain. T into e to the power of minus a t. What happens here? See, 
exponential function is there. So frequency domain equation. In exponential, this in time domain, this exponential signal multiplies with t, t. So in time domain, f of t function multiplies with t in frequency domain immediately we have to apply differentiation operation. So it becomes now minus d by ds of f of s is this one 1 by s plus a. 1 by s plus a. So differentiate this. So after differentiation it becomes like this 1 by s plus a whole square. 1 by s plus a whole square. Just observe this equation here. Laplace transform of a to the power of minus a t is 1 by s plus a. Then I want Laplace transform of t into e to the power of minus a t. So t multiplies in time domain, in frequency domain, denominator power is increases. So increased by 1. So here s plus a is there. Now it becomes s plus a whole square. Right? Simple representation. Now from this one more standard equation here, Laplace transform of t to the power of n into e to the power of minus a t. t to the power of n is there. So in numerator, it multiplies with n factorial, n factorial by s plus a whole to the power of n plus 1. This is also another standard equation. Right? So exponential function. Similarly, we can write Laplace transform of t to the power of n into e to the power of plus a t. Exponentially increasing function. e to the power of plus a t explains the exponentially increasing function. So exponentially increasing function, this side it becomes n factorial by s minus a whole to the power of n plus 1. So here the plus a, it becomes minus a and here minus a and here we have to write plus a. So these are also standard equations. And similarly, I want to apply this Laplace transform for cos function and sine function also, right? So Laplace transform of sine bt, Laplace transform of sine bt is b by a square plus b square. Laplace transform of sine bt is b by a square plus b square, then if t multiplies in time domain, t into sine bt is, right? In t multiplies in time domain, in frequency domain it performs a differentiation operation. Now write immediately like this, d minus d by ds, f of s function is here, b by a square plus b square. b by a square plus b square. So differentiate this complete expression, apply here u by v equation. Differentiation of u by v, v square, write v square as this, a square plus b square whole square. This gives a v square. v into du. v into du. This into differentiation of b is 0. Differentiation of constant is 0. Minus. Minus into minus plus. Right. So uh, u into dv. Differentiation of this one. It becomes now 2s. Then finally, the answer is like this. Laplace transform of t into sin. Sin bt is. Laplace transform of t into sin bt is. 2bs by a square plus b square whole square. Denominator power is increased. See, Laplace sum of sin bt is b by a square plus b square. If t multiplies in time domain, sin bt multiplies with t in frequency domain, denominator power is increased. So, a square plus b square whole square is there. In numerator, it multiplies with some constant. That value is here 2bs. So, 2bs by a square plus b square. Otherwise, Remember this equation, then immediately apply this equation, minus d by ds of frequency domain expression. So whatever the frequency domain expression, differentiate that with respect to s with minus multiplication, then directly which gives the answer. And similarly, try to find the Laplace transform of t into cos bt, right? In next video, I will explain that part. So uh, you have to find out here Laplace transform of t into cos bt because all these already, already we have discussed. Uh, then try to find out Laplace transform of t into cos bt, right? That part I will explain in next video. So please take this now. Mm -hmm.